Hey, what's up, y'all? Coach Rock here, the official trainer for I Love Basketball TV. And guess what? In today's video, I'm going to be showing the best 10 drills for beginner basketball player. Now, if you're an advanced player or you think you're an advanced player, don't disregard this video because a lot of times advanced players can really use the fundamentals. So in this video, their beginner drills focusing on the fundamentals. And how I like to phrase it is a basketball, when you're training your skills, it's kind of like you're building a house, right? We have to have the foundation, the foundational skills down before we can become an advanced player, before we can become an elite player. Think about a big house, like you can have the biggest house ever, but it's, if it's on a weak foundation, the house is gonna fall over. But once you have that good foundation, then your potential is limitless. So in this video today, I'm gonna to be focusing on 10 drills. These 10 drills are gonna help you with your finishing, your scoring, your dribbling, your defense. We're focusing on everything in this video. And then stay tuned for next week and next Friday, we're gonna be uploading 10 drills for advanced basketball players. So that means you have the whole week to master these and then you could try the advanced drills. Or if you're an advanced player, you can still do these this week and then come back next week for the advanced drill. First drill, Mike and drill. We're doing three sets of 10 with both hands. Next drill, pretty much the same thing, reverse miking, three sets of 10. All right, next drill we're getting into, zigzag ball handling. We have three moves. We have cross, between, behind. First set, cross. Second set, between. Last set, behind. When you get to the last cone, don't worry, I'm gonna show you everything. When you get to the last cone, you're dribbling baseline, you're spinning, you're gonna to get to the rim in as few dribbles as possible. From half court, you should be able to get there in two dribbles. Um, so you're gonna do that. And then I'm not gonna go over it now, just to save time, but you would take the same drill, move it to the other side of the court and work on that. Me, I'm gonna just focus on the left hand right now, work on that weak side. If you could only do one side, work on your weak hand so you can improve that. Let's get straight into this drill. Next drill, drill number four, we're working on one dribble moved pull-ups. So we're gonna practice real game situations. You're gonna approach the guy at the top here and we're either doing a cross between the legs or behind the back. And then we're gonna get into a shot at the elbow. So what I would say do is five makes each side off of each move. So what's that gonna be? Like 30 makes, right? Five, 10 for crossovers, five, 10 for between the legs, five, 10 for behind the back, that'll be 30. Now I'm not gonna go through all the reps, 
but I will do a few reps so you can see how to do this drill live. By the way, don't forget, I'll have the set and reps in the description for you. So that way you don't gotta keep referring back to the videos. I'll have the time stamp and I'll have the set and reps by each drill. So that way today you watch it all through, learn the drills. But then when you get to the gym, there might be like three or four that you really just wanna come back to. So instead of having to watch the whole video, I'll have the time stamp for you so you can keep coming back, click, watch the video. You'll see the set and reps right by that link and you can keep on moving. But with that being said, let's get in straight into drill number five. Pretty, pretty self-explanatory form shooting. So in this drill, we're gonna be in the front and we're gonna do the two sides. Just do 10 makes each spot. Next drill we're gonna get into is spot shooting. If you're by yourself, you have to get your own rebounds. If you have a partner, you could have them get your rebounds, but what I like to do sometimes, this will also help you with conditioning, help you get used to following your shot. You're gonna shoot, if you, if you have a partner, you guys will do each spot, five spots we have. You're gonna make 10 at each spot, but if you have a partner, you're gonna make, get your rebound, pass your partner, he gonna shoot, he gonna get his rebound passed to you. So this will kind of get things speed, um, going quickly, it won't help you get that rhythm. It's easy to make a lot of shots. You stand in there shooting. It's a little more difficult to shoot, get your rebound, reset, and shoot. That's why we're going to do that in this in this drill right here. Next drill we're going to get into is elbow to elbow shooting. Because I have a partner in this drill, I'm going to use him to get my rebounds and I'll get his rebounds. Go elbow to elbow, make 10 each elbow. So that means you'll be making 20. Um, but a key here is to use proper footwork. If you're by yourself, then you got to get your rebound, run to the elbow and shoot, but you can still use proper footwork. Next drill we're gonna work on is at the top of the key, we're working on pump fake pull-ups. 
Pump fakes are extremely important. They're one of the most lethal moves you can use, especially as a beginner player. So utilize that pump fake and then pull up. I have a partner. So again, we're gonna do it where I shoot, I get my rebound pass. This is gonna work on my conditioning, also get me out of rhythm so I can't build a rhythm. But say if you just have your parents rebounding, then they can just get your rebound and keep passing to you. But I like messing up the rhythm because in the game, you're never gonna take 10 shots just standing there. Right? You're gonna take a shot, run down, run back, take a shot. So that's what we're gonna to try to simulate in these drills. Next drill, we're working one dribble layups from outside the three-point line. A lot of players take too many dribbles to get to the basket. It allows the defense to recover. In this drill, we're gonna take one dribble, regular layup, do 10 on both sides. I'm only gonna do the left side. Again, working on my weakness, um, on my weak hand, but I want you to do both sides. Last drill is gonna focus on conditioning and defense, defensive slide. So we're gonna do the zigzag, kinda of like we did for dribbling, but we're gonna be sliding our feet. It's gonna help you practice opening footwork. First time through, we're going really slow. That's gonna get you used to getting in this position. It's gonna burn a little bit, get you used to moving your feet, proper footwork. Then the next time through, we can speed it up. So again, remember, I have the drills in the description for you. Take them, start using them to work out. Remember, I have a free workout you'll see also in the description, a free program actually. Click that first link, sign up, um, and I'll send you free access to our full training program. It's gonna help you take your game to the next level. Don't forget, next week, 10 basketball drills for advanced players. So use these, get to advance quickly so you can do next week's drills. If you enjoyed the video, do me a big favor. Hit that thumbs up for me, comment below, let me know what else it is that you want me to talk about. And last but not least, please do not forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you never miss another video. Until next time, I'll see you then.